morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepyhead. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake, cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, March 25th. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. S&P down 16, NASDAQ down 105. Russell is up four, Dow down 60. Gold and silver are green, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up a tiny bit. Oil up a little over half percent, natural gas down 1.75, soybeans up, wheat up, corn down, euro and the pound a little bit higher, Bitcoin up almost 5%, VIX at 13 and a half, strikes in SPX, pretty narrow, my friends, pretty narrow, but it is Monday. So hopefully we can get some Monday magic working. As posted in the positions and updates, I'm going to do my Monday AM ratio iron condor, my NDX daily 25 delta trade. My challenge portfolio will be doing re-entries uh, along with the 1DTE iron condor. Uh, I'll be doing the 945 AM ratio iron condor. Uh, potentially some JSPs. And then I might sprinkle in some additional discretionary price action iron condors if I see fit. Then later on, if the uh, if they set up, do my quiet and PM tranches. And then power hour, if there's any premium left, we'll see. So that is my plan this morning. I've also got a three five three six and a four five uh, calendars from Friday. The uh, the IV did not coordinate well between the front and back. My three five and three six are both down. My four five is up a little bit. I stayed light on these because it is a shortened holiday week. Friday markets closed for Good Friday. So I did stay small, but um, those uh, the three five and the three six looks like they are going to be losers. Opening bell in ninety seconds. I am going to refresh my coffee. I will be back in one minute before the bell. All right, I made it. 20 seconds to go.
My bots will start firing off positions about a minute after the bell. And here we go. Expected move in SPX to start the day, 16.4. Yuck. Very low. Friday was 19. All right, 16.4. NDX expected move We are in the midst of our second day of a pullback off of all-time highs, which hit 52.61. All right, here come my trades. It's good to see the bots firing correctly on a Monday morning. All right, so my AM ratio came in. I'm on the 52.10, 52.30, so a whopping 20 wide. My NDX came on the... 18140s and the 18290s. My 1DTE came on on the 5200s, 5235s. One day, one day, Iron Condor only 35 wide. And I got my, uh, my one to one and my three two re entry fired as well. All right. So to recap, and I just fired some JSPs at the uh, 52 20 puts on that little bounce. All right. So here's my NDX. 18140s, 18290s. Here is my AM ratio. Is uh fifty two thirties, fifty two tens. Yeah, there we go. So there's my AM ratio. Here's my JSPs, 5220. Uh, yeah, I got filled on my NDX, I got filled at 427. So it must have been a 425, 430 split fill or something. Uh, 427. All right. And then in my challenge portfolio, Here is my one DTE. Pretty narrow for a one DTE. And then my uh, my one to one is on the 52, 15, 52, 25. And my three, two reentry is on the 52, 10, 52, 30. Already getting some good decay. Holy moly. My three twos are already at 14%. And 
Hindi X was at 18 140 puts, 18 290 calls. As far as news this week, we do have new home sales. It's got an orange, orange impact, which is kind of medium. It's not high impact, not low impact. Medium impact expected. Uh, that's at 9 a.m., so here in about 25 minutes. Tomorrow, pre-market, durable good orders. 30 minutes after the market's open, consumer confidence. Uh, Wednesday, the 27th, Wednesday, uh, 5 p.m., so that's after the market, two hours after the market closes, showing high impact for uh, FOMC member Waller speaking. It's nice of him to do that after the market closed. Thursday, pre-market, GDP, unemployment. Uh, Thursday, 30 minutes after the market opens, pending home sales, which it's uh, pending as high impact, along with consumer sentiment. Then Friday, the market's closed, but we do have core PCE and Powell speaking. So nice. I mean, these uh, Fed speakers are finally doing something nice, and they're speaking when the market's closed. So that's good. Yeah, I've got my uh, three, five, three, six, and four, five to exit. So let's check out the four, five. Let's see, so I got into that one at buck fifty. Put my order at a dollar. See if I can get out. We get a little bounce. My three five. I'll go ahead and close those. That was my three six. All right, three, five, and three, six are closed. My four, five, trying to get filled at a buck.
SPX pulling back a little bit. Uh, my JSP, I'm on the 52.20 put. I think I have it set at 80 wide on the, the long. I said it'd be the 50.40 is the long one. Uh, Fish, my <clears throat> risk profile appears to be doing fine. SPX heading down to the low of the first five minute bar. Uh, on top of the mountain. No, I have to do that manually. I have one bot for the re-entry and then I just when I hit 30%, I reduce my stop and close half. Same thing on the 3-2. It's just one bot. I just wait for it to hit 30%, and then I, I have to manually reduce and close part. So not as fully automated as I hope it will be at some point. After the, uh, he gets the broker's situation with Tradier and Schwab ironed out. That's kind of one of the things at the top of his list to add in some type of automated kind of ratchet down stop at a specific profit target. So for now, I got to do it manually. I just set an alert. And when it gets close, then it's that, that way I don't have to watch it like a hawk. Correct. No, there's no special discount with Trade Steward. That's another thing that I've talked to him about. But again, he's he's trying to get all this stuff in order before he... He's kind of grown faster than he expected. So he's trying to get all this stuff in order before he even puts any focus on marketing or growth or, you know, that kind of stuff. So he was... He wants he was wanting to hold off on any type of deal like that. All right, SPX. Pushed a little bit through the low of the first five minute bar. VIX got a little contraction out of the gate. Now it's bouncing back up a little bit. Of course, similar opposite reaction of SPX. SPX pushed up at first, now coming down. VIX futures are slightly red. Yeah, so what I'll do uh, on top of the mountain, so if you're looking at my screen here, you probably already know this, but for anybody who is newer to Trade Steward, so for example, my uh, 
here's my one to one. And so in this case, I've got 11 contracts. So my, um, so what I do is I, it, once I get to 30%, which is displayed here, then I will close half. So I've got 11, which is obviously an odd number. So in this case, I'm going to, I would close six. So I was, you know, if it's an odd number, I close, um, a little above 50%. So that gets to 30%. I will just hit this little reduce trade size button, close six of 11. And then at the same time, I would reduce my stop to two bucks. And then from that point on, it's just kind of in autopilot. And what I'll do a lot of times <clears throat> if I, um, you know, if I'm in the middle of something is, uh, so I'll pull up the, uh, I'll pull up the trade. So here's where I got filled, right? Or here's where I got filled. I got filled at 1095. No, that's my three, two. I got filled at. Yeah, 1095. There it is. There's the six and the five to make up the 11. Um, my one DT got squeezed in in between there at the same exact time. Um, all right, so I got filled at 1095. So 1095 times 0. 0.7 equals... So about $7.65 would be 30%, right? So once this gets down to $7.65, that's when that spread would be at 30% of max profit, which would be the time that I would do that. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll right click on this, create opposite order. And then I will right click on that and do create alert. And then I will do a few cents above that 765. So a few cents above the 30%. So I'll say at or below. So it was 765. So I might put like 7.75. Right. So once that spread gets down to, you know, 10 cents or so from my profit target, I'll have an alert. It'll send me a, I can set it to send me a text message obviously a noise on my platform, whatever you, you know, whatever you want down here, you set it up to play whatever chime you want, send a message, whatever. And then that way, um, you know, once I get that alert, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting close to 30%. I should go in and uh, be ready to adjust that. That was a little tip from my boy, Meech. Yeah, 15s and 25s. I uh, have mine set at, yeah, 31, 931. I don't know if I've had better luck. I don't think I've ever had it set at 932 on those. I just want to get into those at the open. My three twos already up 17%, halfway there, halfway there to close in half and reducing stop. Am 
My AM ratio is also up 17%. My one DTE is up six. My one to one is up 11. My NDX is just kind of flat. My JSPs are back in the green with this little bounce. JSPs are going to need to bounce about up to call it 52.29, 52, depending on how quickly it gets there, 52.29, about an eight point move higher, seven point move higher to hit 50%. Once it gets to 20%, I will reduce my stop. Making a push towards highs of day. High of the first five minute candle. VIX coming down. The good news is, my friends, I think we're going to see some higher implied volatility, at least the latter half of the year with the, with the election. So there's there's some built-in implied volatility increases <clears throat> later in the year, at least, if nothing else crazy happens. For now, we just battle with what we've got. That's right. Make VIX great again. That's what I'm voting for. If, you know, if somebody ran on that ticket, they would have the entire trading community have their vote. They need to look into that. They're discounting the trading community. Not giving the trading community the uh, attention they deserve. Still chopping within that first five minute bar. Didn't break out to the downside, hasn't broken out to the upside. I haven't taken any futures trades yet this morning. All right, let's see. My four five still has not hit. Trading for about a dollar fifteen. I've got my order at a dollar to close, which would be about thirty percent.
We get one more little push through to the upside. Should hit. Yeah, 30% is my profit target. Thirty percent or exit at ten AM tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, if we fall down to the expected move to the downside, it'd be it'd be pretty deep in the red at that point. It's three fives and three sixes did not hold up well. Well, if they already sucked the premium out of Monday options or probably more likely they sucked the premium out of the options later in the week. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. We'll be back for power hour. Chad's in the woods hunting turkeys, shooting poor, innocent little birds with his big gun. Um, so, uh, but t so as far as live streams go tomorrow, um, there won't be any live stream in the morning, but we've got power hour every day this week. And then I'll be doing zero DTE live stream on Wednesday as well, but no morning live streams on Tuesday or Thursday. But power hour every day. If there's any premium left. All right, all. Have a good rest of your day. Chat with you soon.